What's up, welcome back to the Metal Up Car Show. With Iron Maiden officially announcing their Argentinian date for the 2024 Leg of the Future Pass Tour, along with their opening band for the South American Tour being Lun, it also brought one more really cool bit of information for the future of Iron Maiden. And that was in the post they did on all their social media saying there will be no further cities added to the future Pass Tour. Now, it doesn't mean there could be no further dates added in. There could very well be second shows added in the same city, but it does mean on December 7th in Brazil, that'll be the final date of the future Pass Tour. Which, frankly, I'm kind of thrilled by that. It does mean the future past year has been cut to two years and not three, so we can move on to something new. So despite we're only in April, it does mean we can now start 2025 speculations. So what do I think 2025 holds? Frankly, I think there's a few things that it could be, so let's get right into it. The first one, I think the one that a lot of people are going to be leaning towards, is a new album. Now, Sinjetsu was written in 2019 and not actually released until 2021 just due to the pandemic and the Legacy of the Beast tour being postponed so many times. So it's not unreasonable to believe that a new album could have been written between now and then. With Sinjetsu being written five years ago, it's more than likely they have written something. It's just how they kind of work in that timeline. So it's very likely that 2025 and 2026 could be a new album tour. Now I know the Future Past tour is the Sinjetsu tour, but it is also the retrospective tour for Somewhere in Time. So I do think it's going to be unlikely that the next tour they do is going to be a classics or a retrospective tour. Now the new retrospective tour, in one form or another, they have kind of covered every single 1980s album. I know there hasn't been a Peace of Mind retrospective tour, but Peace of Mind has got so much attention on almost every single retrospective tour they've done. So as much as I like it, I don't think it's going to be the next tour. So it's not going to be a 1980s album. It very well could be the 1990s albums. What? Yeah, bad chance of that. And I don't really like doing it on this channel, but it could very well be the last Iron Maiden tour and their retirement tour. But we're not going to be the channel to try continuously predict when they're going to end and all that, so we're also not going to do it today. Yes, they will call it quits at some point in the future, but let's just enjoy what we have whilst we have it. Now, the notion of a new album coming out, there is going to be the how are they going to announce it. So, the Future Past tour is starting in September in Australia this year. My theory is, if it is going to be a new album, they're going to start teasing it in Australia, and by the time they're maybe halfway through North America, or kind of closer to the end of North America, they may have actually announced the new album. And prior to doing this video, I actually took a look at a lot of the older albums, see when they announced the album to when the tour actually started, and in some cases it was a difference of a week to nine months. So it could very well be announced at the end of the Future Past tour, being like October, November, and not actually out till early 2025. But the one other idea of this next tour could be, which I don't think a whole lot of people would be super into, but I think it's worth bringing up, is doing another hybrid tour. As much as I choose not to poke at it that much on this channel, the reality is time is running out, so if they want to go jump on any of these older albums, they're going to do it in creative ways. So doing the five new songs, five songs from older albums, let's decide and bring new world for now, that might be the best way of doing it time-wise. Will they do that? I'm not really sure. They tend not to continue a theme they did for the tour prior. A lot of people figured the Future Past tour is going to have the two-world theme that the Legacy of the Beast tour did. Frankly, I was always against that theory. That would be right, but who knows? Anyway, we're going to keep this video short, but I want to know what do you think. What do you think Iron Maiden is going to be touring on in 2025? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed the new scene. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.